Hey guys, welcome back to the Wad Doc Project 365, episode 267, and we have it. The final chapter has been revealed. Dave Castro and the, Ca and the CrossFit Games um, out there have tested everything, and it seems now they are going to test our mentor, mental vigor more than anything. We have uh, an interesting workout here. It's a 27, 21, 15, 9 cup lift of rowing for calories and thrusters at that wonderful 95 pound weight, 65 pound weight for, for girls, right? So here's the thing. For us to have a strategy on 15.5, we need to understand how exactly does a rower work and what is the difference between rowing for calories versus rowing for meters or right during a time. Here's the thing. Because when we row for when we're rowing, meters don't equal equal calories. Meters is a distance. So the more or, or harder you pull, okay, the faster that goes. But it goes up in a linear progression. I got more of the more on this on my site. You guys will see it during the post tonight. But calories, however, is not a distance. It is a measurement of energy. So it costs more energy to go faster. And it costs that exponentially, okay? So if you think about if you're on a bike and you're bicycling and you're going the same exact path, um, everything is exactly the same. And one day there's no wind at all, okay? If you're about to bicycle, if you're about to ride in that path and you're trying to get the same exact time, if you're going with no wind, it will be much easier than if you were going the next day and you had a 20 mile headwind. Nothing has been, the change, has been changed and the speed is exactly the same because it's the same distance. However, the energy to get there is exponentially hard or higher, right? That's the best way I can explain a rower for you and why calories is different. Why is that important? Because if I was rowing against you and I took this little example, if I was to row a 230 500 pace versus a 220 500 pace and I was to do 500 meter row and I was in a race against another person, if I was to just do that, It'd be very simple math, doesn't take a lot of uh, science here. We have a 10 second differential here. However, I bet you what you didn't know is if you were to do that same ratio and do it in a 25 calorie race rather than a, a 500 meter race, the difference is 53 seconds, okay? And I have, uh, I have the information behind that. So you can understand it might now behoove you, it might be more important to push a little bit harder on the rower and then use these thrusters and active recovery. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch with how, uh, how we're going to plan things out here, our strategy, because it's pretty simple here. Okay, You're going to do the best thruster technique you can. That means elbows high, weight on your heels, uh, using your body to thrust the weight up and catching it in almost in a jerk type position. Okay, However, I am going to uh, suggest that for everyone out there that's not going strict uh, sets, we should break these up into smaller sets than you believe because you're going to be gassed from the rower. So I suggest rounds of nines, sevens, fives, and threes, right? So the first set is 27, so we've got three sets of nine, next set three sets of seven, next set three sets of five, and then three sets of three. These all work together pretty well, okay? Now, here's what I want you really to do. More importantly, than I want you to worry about the thrusters. I want you to go to the box. I want you to practice because you probably haven't practiced and you have no idea what to look for as far as calories per hour. I want you to hit a 25 calorie row, 100%, okay? Directly after that, I want you to get off there and I want you to do 20 burpees, okay? You're gonna rest comfortably. And then you're gonna take 80% of that and then you're gonna try that whole thing again, okay? You're gonna do that again then you're gonna do that 50%. I want you to note a couple of things down. Your perceived exertion level, the time at which it took you to take uh, to, to do those 25 calories each time, okay? And what was your calorie per hour range during that? So if you can mark those down and give you guys some really good vantage points of to where you're trying to go. Use this strategy. Understand that rowing for meters is not the same thing as rowing for calories and that there's a huge differential that it might behoove you to row a 10-second pace faster, get off that rower, because 50 seconds... That can beat eat up, that can allow you to, in this case, 53 seconds, that can allow you to take those three breaks per set, and you're never going to miss that, okay? Guys, try that out. Let me know how it goes. Best of luck finishing up your CrossFit Open. I hope, uh, I hope you guys all the best and the safest. Until tomorrow, we are Optimizing Function.
to optimize performance.